Hey everyone, I'm going to talk to you today about Unique International's gun wash machine, the Edition 35. It's ideally aimed at larger body shops with a higher throughput of cars where you're going to need constant cleaning of the guns, um, but they wanted me to try it out. Now I was, a, give you a little bit of history about machines, gun wash machines. Uh, I was a little hesitant to use this machine <clears throat> and to do this review. The reason for that is in the past I bought a very expensive gun wash machine from a company that said exactly the same. They've got a dual cleaning fluid that'll clean both water base and solvent. The machine looked, oh, it looked really nice. It looked like it could be in a Formula One garage. So I, I took them at the word and I bought the machine. It cost me a lot of money. Uh, and six months down the road, the machine started to rust. The, within a couple of months, I realized that the fluid was not, it would clean the water-based paint, but it was never cleaning my solvent gun. It, there was always little bits of contamination left in my solvent gun, or I would end up with little fisheye craters in my paintwork where it just, you couldn't get rid of the cleaning fluid in the gun properly. And their solution to that was to use a solvent base cleaner to clean it. Uh, and I just, you know, it was an absolute disaster. So when Anthony came and he said this to me, I, I said to him, look, Anthony, you've got to have something that's going to absolutely deliver because if it doesn't, you know, I'm not going to be impressed that I've spent my time on it. He said, no, Wayne, come on, trust me. Well, this does. It does the trick. You'll be really pleased with it. So... Here we are. I've te been testing the machine since January for three months. I was only supposed to test for one month and I, you know, just busy, things happen in life as you know, but it's now I've ended up testing for three months, which I think for an infield test, that's pretty good. Um, and I want to come back and I want to report to you on my findings and give you a little bit more information about the machine. So the key question is, does the, their product work? Absolutely. I've had no contamination come through my guns. It's cleaned the guns well. Um, every now and again, you still have to strip down the gun, do a thorough gun strip, but you'd have to do that with any machine. <clears throat> um, but for like an everyday, it's really good. Uh, it will clean my water-based gun. It'll clean my solvents gun. And I've had no issues with, like I said, contamination or any little craters or bits left back in, in the gun that I haven't rinsed through. Um, in a moment, I'm going to take you into the machine and show you what the, what the features are on it uh, and what they're thinking behind why they say this is one of the best on the market. For me, it's not about what's the best on the market. It's does it work? Does it work? Do, could I happily say to you, yeah, this is a, a machine worth looking at? 100%. After three months, I feel I could confidently, well, I not feel, I know I could confidently do that. It's just whether it suits your shop. A little bit of more, for more information about the machine. It's made from a high quality stainless steel, which is a 304 stainless steel, non-ferromagnetic stainless steel. I'm just looking because it's, uh, I didn't want to get, I wanted to get that right. So it's an automatic gun wash um, with, the, with the, all the different features that, it's better I'd probably take you in to show you. Uh, everything is made in the UK. It's a UK company, unique. It's a family owned business. It was established in 1982 and it's now run by Anthony Plant and his mum. A uh, really nice, really nice guy actually came down and spent some time with me. So yeah, really nice guy. So let's show you the machine and what you can expect from it. Over the last three months, and you can see the start date, I've been recording how many times I've cleaned what gun. So my Ego Carbonio on an HVLP, and this really surprised me. I actually used this gun more than any other gun as my base coat gun. Uh, and I did 20 washes on that one. The Astura, Astromech Astura, I did two washes. The Ego 190 on a clear with 1.2, I've done five. I've done four on the SATA mini jet, on my other favorite base gun, which is the Ego 190 HTC. I've done 13 
washers with it. Uh, the SATA 1500 RP are clear. I've done two washers. Uh, the 360 Genesi Carbonio on a 1.2, I have done 17 washers with that. And the 360 Carbonio, Genesi Carbonio base gun, six washers. So it's, it's had a really good thorough test. No electrics involved in this machine, it's run by, by air. It comes with a water trap, that's all part of it. Everything you see here is part of the system with a regulator. You've got a blow-off gun on the side there, which just clips in. A little bit hard to do on anything like You've then got a filtration system, and this will filter your cleaning fluid down to 10 microns so that the fluid coming into the machine is pretty much clean. So the unit itself, you've got these doors which will start and stop the automatic wash. They're just a bifold. You've got three cleaning jets at the top which clean your spray gun from all different angles. You've got the spray gun cradle itself which is tied down with some wing nuts and that slides forwards and backwards if I open up enough just so you can put a different size gun on there. You've got your airline that will come in through your gun so it would work it a normal way. You've got a really good plastic trigger clip and I'll show you that on the gun in a moment, and that pulls your trigger in. You've then got this section, nozzle, which puts the cleaning fluid into your actual spray gun. There we go. I'll just lock it in place a moment. All right, and just lock in those wing nuts. Now you can see from how clean this unit is, and this is after three months of using it. You've got a flow through brush, which the fluid come, will flow through, that's for cleaning. All right, so you can manually clean your gun when you're not in automatic. This is a high pressure rinse off, which is pure water that comes through. All right, and in there are actually some little brushes that you can use to clean your cap. You've also got a pressure, a little jet there for cleaning off air, larger spray gun caps. They will just sit on that little cradle. And if you use a paint pot system, uh, you don't use a paint pot system and you actually use the gun's paint pots, you can clean it in that section. So that's what we've got up there. Coming down lower, you have the actual controls of the gun. It's automatic, it has a five minute timer. So you set that around, if I just move it a little bit, you can hear that ticking away. And that will automatically clean your gun. It's just gone off. Uh, you then move that down, and that will be your throw through brush, and there is your rinse off. So those are the controls, really simple. Finally, down here, you have the ProTech wash. It's a, like I said to you, cleans both solvent and water base. It's non-flammable, really low VOCs, and it's biodegradable. No extra extraction system, air extraction system is required for this because there are no fumes, which is another key feature I really like about it. And this is your five liter container for your water rinse off. And that's all that goes in there, is just purely water. So nice and simple. Now when this machine, I just switch it on to automatic, put the timer on, just close this down and you'll see it'll kick in. So you hear it clicking. When it's doing its clean, it is cleaning 20 liters of water are passing through the system, being filtered every minute. That's a thorough clean. And actually you can see after three months how clean this is. Just finish up a cycle wash here, just to show you what you do after, the, after you've actually done a wash on the gun. 
you can hear it pumps away. As soon as you close the door, that engages the actual automatic system. It's almost coming to an end of its five minute cycle. There you go, it switches off. Open it up. You've got your gun. So what I will do is I will pull off the trigger clip and I'll put it under here now. Now, after you've cleaned it, it does have a slightly slimy feel. I, I don't know of another way to exp explain it, but that is the gun wash cleaning fluid on there. Even though it is clean, I'll then put it on the rinse. That now has got rid of that slimy feel. Totally rid of it. I, I, you know, that's a system that wasn't on the old type that I tried, which is why I didn't want to, I was reluctant to test this one because it failed, but this doesn't. Um, so I would now just blow it off. Give that a little pull in. And you've got, I always like to give it a little wipe down afterwards. You know, you invest so much money in these pieces of equipment, it's good to look after it. And that's it, that's my gun. Five minutes later, well, six minutes with a little rinse off, ready to uh, go back on the rack for the next job. As simple as that. Another little tip to share with you all is about the actual cleaning and how to get the best out of this system. A, tw a 20 liter fluid costs you 120 pounds. So it's a, it's a, it's a lot of money, <clears throat> 120 pounds. And they reckon you should get 600 washes. Now, I believe from what I've seen in the last three months that that is achievable. You need to do a little bit of housekeeping to make that achievable, but it's achievable. It, and then if you do that, it works out at 20 pence per wash, 20 pence, that's it. So how to keep your fluid as clean as possible? And you could see my fluid was clean. Firstly, I don't recommend anyone puts their fancy digi gauges or any sort of air pressure gauge into the system. So a little tip from me is I just remove this, it only takes 30 seconds. I have another little fitting, always by, my, by the gun wash machine. Swap that over, and that's how it goes into the gun wash machine. Now, in the booth, prior to doing that, I will have in something like this Colad pump spray bottle, I'll open the nozzle bit totally up so you're getting a gel out of there, high pressure, give it a really good pump, uh, and I will blow, this has only got water in it, and I'll just rinse that through the gun inside the booth so that it's, it's like, a, treat it as a pre-clean because that's really what it is. And what you're doing by, by doing that, you're just getting rid of all that excess paint in there, or if it was a solvent gun, just a little bit of thinners. So you're giving it a pre-clean, and you're giving your fluid in your gun wash a much better chance of lasting 600 washes. Uh, and of course, saving you money. So, you know, a couple of seconds in the booth, a couple of seconds swapping that over, it's just gonna be a much smarter move. I hope you found that interesting, uh, or a little bit, giving you a little bit more insight into Unique International as a company and <clears throat> Unique International's limit, uh, so Edition 35 gun wash machine. Before I sum everything up, I just want to answer one question for you, which is a question that I actually asked Anthony himself, and it was, what's stopping me from buying your gun wash fluid your dual purpose gun wash fluid, and using it in my own machine. He said nothing. You can, but we don't guarantee it. And we don't recommend it. And the reason for that is the type of steels. You have to know what steel your machine is made from and the quality of the componentry inside there to know if you're going to have any issues with it because it could result in corrosion. Everything on this system has been tested using this working to work with this cleaning fluid. So it just all works together. Their machines come with a five year warranty. 
which is good peace of mind. It's British made. Uh, would I recommend it? Yes, I would recommend it. If you've got, if you're looking for this sort of machine and this is what you've got in your budget for a machine like this, or you've got that sort of throughput in your workshop and you've got guys who care about their equipment and your equipment that you're investing in, I would 100% uh, recommend it. You've got a saving on the fluids. You're not having to buy water base or solvent. You've just got one fluid that does both. And like I said, there's no reason why you shouldn't get 600 washes out of it if you just do that little 15 second pre-clean before you come and use the gun wash. Uh, it works really well for me in my tests. I will be sad to see it go back, but I'm really happy that I had the opportunity to test it because it reassured me that there is a product on the market that will clean both water base and solvent guns one product that is environmentally friendly and you know that's what it's all about now it's, we're all trying to save the planet and being as environmentally friendly as we possibly can and this ticks those boxes so thank you very much anthony uh, thank you for the opportunity to do this and i would just like to say to you all if you have any questions if you've used their any of their equipment please put your comments down below you know share it with us it's it's you know, whether it's negative or positive, it's your opinion and it might help someone else. So I'm all about that. I'm all about helping each other and learning from each other. So thanks very much. Have a great one.